Hello guys, today we're going to do a guide on how to attain Legion Revenant. Legion Revenant here has four quests for you, Legion Filthy 1 through 4. And for Legion Filthy 4, you have to complete 1, 2, and 3 many times. Number 1, you have to do 20 times. Number 2, you have to do 6 times. And number 3, you have to do uh, 10 times. Uh, the first two have requirements. The first one is that uh, you have to own a Dark Caster class and you have to be at least level 80 to do the second quest. And to unlock uh, Felty 3, you need to do Legion Felty 2. We'll start with uh, Legion Felty 1. So to do this, you can either go here, kill, <coughs> kill Ultra Aqueous 50 times, or you can go to slash join judgment. The reason you want to do this is because in slash join judgment, you can have six people in the room while in uh, Revenant, you can only have three. So it's going to be a little bit faster if you just slash join judgment. But as you can see, it's kind of hit or miss because sometimes you'll join a room that's only one person that's, that has only one other person in it, so it's not that helpful anyway. If you go to the end of, end of the um, map, you'll probably find them. Another requirement for the first uh, Felty is you need to kill Forgotten Souls 300 times. And mind you guys, these guys hit really hard. So yeah, Tether Souls you get from the um, Forgotten Souls and you get Aqueous Empowered from Ultra Aqueous. Moving on, you have to obtain Fiverr and Dark Essence by joining Shadow Realm. So let's do that now. So you have to kill fi uh, Shadow Warrior 500 times. So after you do the quests by clicking the book and completing all the floor quests, you can go here and kill the five headed Desolich and he will drop the Desolus contract. Each one of these has drops it. So for um, while you're doing Aqueous Empowered, I rec recommend using a solo class. And when you're doing the other three, you should use a farmer class like Blaze Binder. For Legion Felty 2, this is one of the more grindier ones. Even the first one is already grindy enough. This one's the mo most boring one, I would say, to do. And you have to do this six times. You get the Grim Cohort Conquered. Doom Vault is where you want to go. What I would recommend for, to do for this quest is to kill all three of these multiple times. The best source of um, Grim Cohort Conquered, even though any mob in this map will give it to you. So go here, or you can go to the um, Flame, Flame Undeads over here. They will drop it. So you need to kill kill them uh, 500 times because it's 100% drop rate. And the next place you have to go is join Mummies. And these will drop the uh, Ancient Cohort Conquered. Like so. And then after that, you have to join Doom War. And then you go to... I don't see anywhere. And they drop the Battle Long Cohorts. Any mob in this map will do. So if you have more of the uh, maps unlocked, you can go there and kill easier mobs. For the mirror cohort, you have to join Overworld instead of Underworld. Kill any mob in here as well. This is why uh, I kind of don't like this quest, because it's really just grindy. So for the Dark Blood cohort conquered, I recommend going into uh, Death Pits. And you can kill any mob in this map as well. For the uh, Vampire cohort, I would recommend join... Nexus, and going in this room and killing the ghouls in there. So for the Doomwood cohort conquered, you need to join Doomwood, kill any one of these mobs. So for the Spirit cohort conquered, you need to go to Kirsch Shore, kill any mobs in here. I just stay in one room and just kill, have my attack on this guy, just AoE every, everyone else down. For the Pirate Cohort Conquered, you need to do Celeste Join Wrath. Kill any mob in here. You should get it. And lastly, for the Dragon Cohort Conquered, you need to Celeste Join Dragon Bone. And kill any mob in here. Pretty simple. 
a pretty tedious this quest. So you have to do this quest six times. It takes a very long time to do it. And then we have Legion Fell D3. Legion Fell D3 is they didn't doesn't usually take that long compared to the other ones because these are all pretty easy to get items except for Legion Token. Legion Token, you guys probably already know how to get those, so I'm not gonna show you how. So Dage Favor, if you don't know already, just join Evil War Null. So after you get here, you can just kill all of these guys to get the Dage Favor. I mean these two guys, not this guy. So the Dage Favor is pretty easy. And then after that, you can go next for the Emblem of Dage, which you have to join Shadow Blast. To get all 10 of these, it only takes you like a few few hours, not that bad. But to do the quest, you need to have this item called Legion Rum or Metal. So you need to do the whole quest line here for, for that NPC. Have this in your inventory. And you can do this quest for the uh, Diamond Token of Dage. And you can do this uh, quest for the Emblem of Dage. So for the Emblem of Dage, you want to go here, go all the way to the right. Well, you get to this room and kill all of these guys. So Legion Seal is pretty, is, is like the easiest thing to get. I don't know if it's 100% drop rate, but it almost feels like it is. But for the other item, Gem of Mastery, it's the uh, limiting factor usually, so it's a low drop rate. But it shouldn't be that hard. Have you done this 10 times to get the Emblem of Dage? Legion to this quest you do for Legion Token and Diamond uh, Token of Dage. So for the Diamond Token of Dage, you need to first get defeated Mackay. Let's go in here, kill these guys to get the defeated Mackay. So after you have 25 defeated Mackay, you want to join a Q lesson. And all you have to do is kill Karnax once and he drops 100 percent yep so the next place we have to go is deep chaos so after you get this uh rooms kill Cthul, you should get the drop 100 percent next up is the red dragon in lair so you kill the red dragon you should get the drop 100 percent next up is Dragon Babel lesson, and you have to kill Fluffy, and it should be a 100% drop rate here as well. We have to join Blood Titan, kill the normal boss, not the ultra version. It should be a 100% drop rate. So that should give you your diamond token of Dage. And a bit of your uh, Legion Token. The last thing for the Legion Fell T that we have in, the last two things I guess is the Dark Token and the Hooded Legion Cold. So we have to join Spheric or Dage. For me personally what I did was just kill all of these commanders in the bottom here. Basically switch between the two rooms. I killed them here. Then I killed them here also. I just went back and forth between the rooms and I turned in these two quests which is really this is a really easy I have to get dark token so after you've done all that you need the hooded legion cowl cost 500,000 gold which is not that expensive to be fair because Ronin Ronin it costs 13 mil in total so you want to go to the uh Legion shop and they put it Legion code. You buy this, it should be there. Boom. Then you have your quest done. So you need to do Legion Felty 1 20 times to get 20 revenue spell scrolls. You need to do Legion Felty 2 6 times to get 6 conquered wrath. wrath. You need to do Legion Felty 3 10 times to get 10 exalted crown. And then you will have. Everything enough to get Legion felt you for done. 
after you get everything done, just turn it in. A Sublegion Revenant, and you are now the owner of Legion Revenant. The best farming class in the game. Pretty hard one to get. I would actually rate this hard, harder to get than Void Heart Lord for some people because honestly, Void Heart Lord isn't that hard to get if you have a farming pet, a Bounty Hunter's Drone pet, or a Bounty Hunter Blade pet. It's pretty easy. Thank you for watching the guide, guys. Hope you have a nice day.